Well, we're stopping in here at the Winkleman Gallery. And we're going to run in and take a look at Jimbo Blachley's Lanquidity. Now, I uh, was just down visiting the Mary Teresa Walters Picasso exhibition at Gagosian, and of course they had too many guards there, so I couldn't sneak in, but uh, I wanted to make sure I came by and saw this show. Jimbo was really going through the moleskins. July 18th, 2010. I'll give you a little of the backstory. It seems that um, Jimbo is pretty well known as a sculptor and uh, an installation artist. But uh, he'd stopped painting, they said, about uh, 30 years ago. And uh, this kind of makes me think of a Picasso. Anyway, he'd secretly started painting again about four years ago. And so. This is a selection of his small oil paintings on canvas. Most of these pieces are fairly small, so something like that is probably maybe six by eight inches. Oh, that's really nice. And, uh, He's actually attracted uh, a pretty good amount of uh, critical response and uh, people are looking at these and saying that uh, they see echoes of uh, some of the great uh, British uh, atmospheric painters like Turner or some of the uh, other 19th century American artists that uh, were kind of coming out of a dark native uh, mysticism like Ryder and Blakelock. But uh, I think one of the interesting things is that uh, Jimbo also has a kind of a, an abstract strain going on here with a lot of these works. And in that way, I would also reference an artist like uh, Forrest Bess. Some of these kind of make me think of landscape. And uh, in that way, I'm getting a little echo of maybe a Milton Avery. I like the color on this one. Now that's got to give you a reading of a landscape, it's like a sunset. This also makes me think a little bit of maybe Phil Guston, some of his late paintings. And, uh, but I think I have to, uh, I have to admire Jimbo and his courage of, uh, you know, breaking out, trying new things. And I always like to see people trying to paint. That's kind of nice. These are some of his more simple geometric uh, pieces. It's like a musical note. Well, something like that makes me even think of an Ellsworth Kelly. up here, Jimbo Blachley's liquidity at the Winkleman Gallery at the very west end of West 27th Street.
Thanks, Kate. <laughs> 